I've been thinking about how we dance at the levee and so many people go to the levee to have fun but there is a lot more going on at the levee than what really re we realize because whenever you get a bunch of people together they they help each other um, what I'm doing with Jim Wallace we dance down there in front of the band and everybody enjoys our dancing we add a little bit to the entertainment and you know we're not getting anything out of this it's just what we do we dance and that's what we provide but um, just recently several things happened while I was at the levee um, one day uh, for the Stormwell Regatta it was noon it was very very hot and we packed two bottles of water to go down there and it was so hot we needed both of those two bottles but I I'm friends with a homeless guy and um, he came down to say hi to me and sat right beside me and he saw me drinking my water and he says you know I don't have any water but I can go but without water all day long I don't need any and I thought you know I'm gonna give him a bottle of my water and when I handed it to him I thought this is the ultimate sacrifice because it was way over 90 degrees that we're um, dancing in the very hot and we actually needed both watt bottles for ourselves but because I gave him my one bottle of water we didn't stay down there as long and we went to uh, Five Street Brewery to um, get some something to drink and also to get something to eat and while I was there I had a very nice experience um, we were we sat right up front and Spencer Elliott was on his guitar we were very close to him when he was playing and <clears throat> which meant I was very close to the front door that led out onto Summer Street which at the time was closed because of Stormwell Regatta, but normally there's traffic there. And a little girl that belonged to a friend of mine uh, was pushing against the door wanting to get out. And this door was be very high for her. The bar that you push on was high and she's up there pushing and her family behind us sees her pushing, but um, she wasn't able to get out. I don't think they thought that she could get out. So all of a sudden she figured it out if she went to the right of the door and pushed that she could get out the door open and she ran right out into the street like as and I didn't know why she was doing that. I said, she's gone and I got up out of my chair and I followed after and ran after her and just as I was almost catching up to her, I see her mom. Her mom had gone across the street to get maybe french fries or something to eat and uh, so they got to see me trying to save their little girl. <laughs> And so it was kind of like a really nice experience because I just, I didn't know I could run that fast. So if I had had two bottles of water, I would have been down at the levee dancing longer, but because I only had one, we went to the Fife Street and I got a chance to um, kind of help this little girl to show that I really cared. And um, another thing that happened at the levee was a young girl came by and she was, uh, must have been babysitting two small children. One was about two and a half and one was about six months old the little girl was six months old the little boy was throwing a fit on her and uh, he did not want to walk up the steps he just sat down and he was not going to go up the steps and if i had been dancing um, there was a, a band playing but we couldn't hear it very well at the levee and so i wasn't dancing i got to see this happening and so i went up to the little to the lady and i said can i help you and she allowed me to carry the little girl up the steps, which was very nice. I felt like I was doing something for her that, you know, she had a long dress on. She would no way be able to carry the little boy and the, the little girl up the steps without tripping. So that was nice. But those are just uh, some things that I did over the Sternwell Regatta festivities. Um, but I bet you there was all kinds of stuff going on like that at the levee people helping other people. It's just how people are. We help one another. So I thought these stories might be inspirational to you.